it onto the train. Uh, we made it by like 10 minutes. We went on an adventure on Train Maya. We were in New York for the holidays and we landed in Cozumel for a vacation. Uh, a few days before we actually took the Train Maya. So we took the Windjet, which is the boat, to the Adio, which is the bus, to Cancun. And then from Cancun to Merida is the route that we took on the train Maya. They have limited availability for the train so I do suggest planning the times in advance. They had a 7 a.m. and a 9 a.m. when we scheduled our, our train ride and we went on the 9 a.m. We, we just got there like 15 minutes before I was going to leave and the things that I really liked about the station was it was very very clean and it felt like the Mexican people were very proud of the train. When we were on the train, we saw people in their car on the highway, like taking video and taking pictures. The, the train, it was smooth, and um, I would definitely recommend it over driving. We've, we've driven twice, and both times it was like four hours or five and a half hours depending on like the weather it was like raining really bad one time so we had to drive slow i think this option is really suitable especially if you have kids or if you just want to relax do you ever feel like as a parent you're in the beginning of home alone where everyone is just running around trying to figure out where to be and where to go well that was us this morning so we woke up late and we were rushing here and we made it. The train also has a concession stand and they come to your seat right before it's time for your stop, which I really liked. I hadn't been on a train that had done that before, where they come to your seat and they let you know that you're the next stop so you can start getting ready. It's like 10 minutes before the train actually stops. And our experience was really, really good. I, I was reading some, you know, controversy about Train Maya and, you know, how they had to displace some people and, you know, tear down the forest and things like that. So I was a little skeptical, but, you know, I really do think that it is for the greater good for Mexico and it's going to open up a lot of travel and opportunities for a lot of people. And thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Thanks, have a great day.